Hello everyone and welcome back with me like that as a cat and today in this video you guys are going to experience my time at the Nicki Minaj concert. Oh! Oh, you guys ready to go to KFC? I'm so excited to tell y'all like what happened. Come, come a little closer. Let's have a little chat, shall we? We then chat. But let me tell y'all the tea about what happened. So a lot of the clips that I'm going to show you though, uh, why do I look so small? A lot of the clips you're gonna see at the concert are gonna be blurred because I forgot to bring a mask. Of course I would do that, you know. Typical me moment. But I did want to insert the clips for you guys because, you know, that's the whole reason I wanted to make this video is because for you guys and for memories, of course. Let me just tell y'all the whole storyline of the day of the Nicki Minaj concert. The Nicki Minaj concert was in the evening, so we had some time beforehand and I had my outfit planned. I had like a clip of me putting on my outfit. Guys, and here's the outfit. Oh my god, I ate! I'm holding up my mask because I don't want to ruin the makeup I just literally did. Here's the pants. <laughs> just these pink pants, these cargo pants with this nice top. I'll do a little 360. Yeah, pink top for Nikki. Because <laughs> you know her theme's pink. God, and I wish y'all could see the makeup too. Like, it just pulled it all together. See, I'm gonna wear my Converse and just like... I'm ready! Give me body, yaddy, yaddy. <sighs> wrong yard, wrong yard. But you know it's okay. But yeah, the top is definitely from Forever 21. The pants are from Target. Yo, I found those pants like literally like last minute too. And it ate with the outfit. I was like, oh, girl. No, I haven't just pop off like that. Like, I'm just the one. I'm the one, yeah. Well, like literally, I'm the one. This is my first like concert that I actually kind of remember. I've been to an R5 concert when I was like younger, but I don't, I remember like bits and pieces, which is really sad. And I and I went to the concert when I didn't have a phone at the time. I was, as I said, I was young and I didn't have a phone back then. So I literally have no memories of the concert, bro. And it's sad, bro. Like I would do literally anything to get the memories of the R5 concert, but I didn't have a phone, so those memories are just gone in the air. And I don't think my mom has anything either, so like, yeah, just R5 basically. And this concert are my only concerts I've ever been to. So this was like a really big deal. It was like a big deal that I could actually like keep memories of a concert for. So I was so excited, guys. So we get to the concert, we park the car and everything. The parking was really easy. My mom paid for the parking on, like we had a, like a long drive, but it was worth it. Trust. And we did we went to parking my mom paid for the parking in advance and the guy when we got there was we She like tried oh to sh God. show him the thing and he's like did you pay online? Nah, you're all set Like he didn't even look to see it for evidence if we paid like we could have gotten there for free my mom was safe but like, <laughs> So we get in the parking and we were going to get dinner before the concert but this was the first time that I think I've memorized and kind of the realization was real that pre-concert anxiety is real because did i say one word before the concert like on the car ride up to the concert literally like i s probably didn't even speak that much my mom was even like are you okay like i i literally like spoke maybe like three words we just waited in line for the concert and we actually got pretty good spots in line i i think that was a good decision us getting in line instead of dinner because if we went to dinner and we went we would have oh the line was so long and we were like in the front of the line and it was just amazing oh my god guys it was freezing outside it was like the most freezing is day i swear to god like why is it why is it cold? <laughs> it just had to be there. 
and I had like that. You saw my outfit in that clip. I was so, I was so thankful. My mom was like, bring a jacket. And I was like, that was a good idea on her part because it was freezing outside. We had to wait outside for like over an hour or two, which was like, ah! So like after we're done freezing our butts off, literally, we get inside, we grabbed our merch. Well, I grabbed my merch. My mom didn't get any. Yeah, I'll do like a 360 for y'all. Yes, oh sir. My God. Wow. Yes. Yes. I was going to get the hoodie, but the hoodie oh. was expensive, bro. I didn't want my mom paying all that, but I felt bad. I was like, so we just went with this. This was huh? still expensive, but I had to get something cute, guys. I had to get something cute, so. <laughs> I wanted the one with the tour dates on it, but mm, I didn't like the design that the tour dates one had though I, I would have loved to have the tour dates one, but I didn't like the design So I, I stuck with this one because this one was cute There was one outside guys, it was literally like this but in white and pink and it was so cute But I didn't go to the merch booth outside because I couldn't even focus It was like too many people and like cold Like and also oh my god this guy outside when we were laying in line there was he was like playing the harmonica for like literally the whole time we were there i was about to start tweaking bro he was playing the harmonica literally the same tune for over an hour there was this guy next to us talking about jesus and god i was like what is happening so this is how a concert goes this is this is what this is the environment, huh? That I've never got to experience till right now, really. <laughs> like, hmm, this is interesting. No wonder why you guys say, like, waiting in line is always so interesting. Okay, we got inside, we got to our seats, perfectly fine, just sat there. Now, I already knew from TikToks that, like, Nicki Minaj comes out late. I'm like, okay. She comes out at, like, 10, people were saying it, when the concert, it says it starts at 8. And, like, there was a sign outside. So, Monica was supposed to pre-perform, but there was a sign outside saying, she's not gonna be here. What? Oh, my. I was already like, oh, my. Oh my god, I wanted to experience a pre-performance so bad. I haven't experienced a pre-performance. R5 didn't have one, now Nicki Minaj didn't have one. So I've never experienced like a pre-performing show, which is really sad. I wanted to experience Monica so bad, I wanted to sing The Boy Is Mine, bro. I knew she would have played that too, I'm like, no! It was so sad, my mom was looking forward to her too and I was like, ah. This was a loss on both of our parts. So Monica just poof, wasn't there. I, I was like, all right. So if Monica's not here, that means like Drake gotta appear on the stage, right? Like someone big got, like to make up for Monica not being here, someone, someone gotta be here, right? No one, no one, no special guest. I was like, like I'm still happy we got a Nicki Minaj concert. I, I'm ecstatic about that, but like no special guest, no one. Oh my. Oh no, no. This, this, this can't be. And, I, and then I see all her concerts after just have Drake. Literally all these people. I'm so jealous, bro. But anyways, that's besides the point. So we get there, and we're just waiting. Music's all low. People are rolling in. Like, we're just chilling, waiting for the thing to start. And we're just like, Monica's not here, so I guess it's just gonna be silent until Nikki comes on. But then, the DJ came on at like 9... 30? He came on mad late than I thought he was. We were sitting there for like an hour and a half just like in low music silence. Like it was like, it was like, oh, nothing's really going on. So then the DJ comes on. The DJ was really good. I will say so myself. The DJ made it so I experienced my first crowd wave, which I think I recorded. I can insert the clip right here. Wait, so for people crowd wave. When I point to your section, you want to stand up. So the section I'm going to first is my left side. So this section from right here, you go to the top. Ready? So when I tell you guys to stand up, you stand up and everybody follow along. Ready? One, two, three. Let's not stand up. But yeah, I experienced my first crowd wave, which was really cool. I really wanted to experience that at one point. I don't know, I love the DJ. He was playing great songs. He was playing Justin Bieber. I know you love me. I know you care. And I'll be there. My first love was my first time. And I was like, baby, 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 oh. 
playing. I, I just like great songs that we were all jamming and vibing. And like he was playing some Nicki songs that she didn't put on her set list and I was like, yeah, I never, I never. But like he was just playing a whole bunch of songs and I was like vibing. I knew like every single one of them songs. I was like, that's DJ. DJ made up for it. Yay. And then finally, past 10 p.m., Nikki came on. She was definitely late, but a lot of people said she was late for every show. So it's I don't know. And then she finally comes on, does her set list. Bro, ah, oh, I was so excited. I had like my, my um, what's it called? My soundproof headphones on because if you guys don't know, I have like sensory issues. So like loud noises sometimes get me worked up. So I had my soundproof headphones on and I was vibing and I was so proud of myself because this is actually my first concert that I didn't freak out over my sensory issues with. And I'm like. Look at me growing up, guys. This is like a huge accomplishment because in R5, I was definitely struggling, which is probably why I don't remember it because um, I was probably, my mom was like, you were literally sitting here like, there like this. So that's probably why I really don't remember R5, which is really sad. <laughs> and so Nikki comes on. Cheering. Woo, woo. I forget what she started with. Okay, she starts with I'm the best. So she comes out, starts singing I'm the best. I'm like, oh my god, Nikki's right there. And as you guys know, guys, I use Nicki Minaj memes for literally especially my gaming videos you know i use Nicki minaj like memes literally in probably every single one of my gaming videos like there's at least one Nicki minaj meme reference when i just saw her on the stage i'm like she's right there she she she's right there she's the best like she made childhood and i still use Nicki minaj memes to this day in my videos she made up so many memes she's just so iconic but yeah she starts singing and i'm like yes i made it <laughs> And then like she starts playing all the her other songs and I'm there. It was just like a very fun time just seeing people vibing. <laughs> I don't know, the vibe was just there, and I feel like I was in like a perfect spot. Like we were far back, but like, there was like a wall in front of us, but we were like in a spot where the wall wasn't blocking us, which was really great. But I feel like we were, and like the people next to us left like shortly after the show started. So we had like mad room, on, like I had mad room next to me because the people beside me left. And I was just like, I 
I, I loved what that happened because I was like, I hate when like, I feel like I'm restrained to like one spot. So the fact that like the two people next to me left, but like I had a whole like four chairs myself, including my mom's space, four chairs myself. I was like, all right, we got this. Like it just worked out so perfectly. I, I don't know. Like yeah, it was a great concert. I think that concert was like the best concert to go to to get back into my concerts guys i might be going to another concert this summer but you have to stay tuned for that vlog too but i'm not gonna tell y'all who but I'm going to another concert this summer look at me back in my this, the start of my concert era so guys i was so excited to hear this was my top four songs and it was on her concert set list which i was like so thankful that my top four Nicki minaj songs were on the set list. My top four is uh, Super Bass. Starships. Let's go to the beach, eat, let's go get away. They say what they're gonna say. Have a drink, drink, talk about it. Might be a time's gone by. The patrol, oh, let's go get on. The zone, oh, guess I'm in the zone. It's a two, three, fifth, we're gonna take my mom all my money. I told you I'm too much of a boat. And those were all on the set list. And I I was so ready for Super Beast. And then she's like I had the concert set list on my phone. Like I was ready. I was like, yeah, Super Beast is it's about to be next. Like I had the set list ready. And then she skipped a song and went to Super Bass. And I wasn't expecting her to go to Super Bass. So I wasn't recording. I missed like the rap part of Super Bass because I'm like, oh my gosh, she's playing it. She skipped a whole song. And I'm like, no! Wait. And now I didn't get a good recording of me singing Super Bass at the concert, but I was like, bro. Like, that and Roman's Revenge, I'm so like, Ugh. Like, Roman's Revenge I got caught up with because the music was too loud, and I, I was like, I gotta focus. But I got like a snippet of me, like, singing it good. <laughs> I know Roman's Revenge, I know the whole lyrics, but like, I got caught up for some reason. I got nervous, guys, I got nervy. Everybody was hype during Roman's Revenge. Like, it was like mellow during that part of the concert, and that Roman's Revenge, everybody was like, oh! And like singing that and Anaconda, everybody was up for Anaconda and Roma's Revenge. Oh, it was just I love it so much. Oh god. Two people in front of us were like pink wigs, which I found iconic. Um, I wonder if they're if they're in any of the videos I took, I'll insert it, but um <laughs> It was just good. Like, I don't know what to tell y'all. Y'all just had to be there. But after the concert, guys, we went to Wendy's. Yes, we love Wendy's. But the drive out, like, 
the drive i thought we were gonna be stuck there like no one knew how to drive all of a sudden on the way out like the line was not moving like it just it just came to a point where we had to reroute and like uh but the only people who went to the concert were me and my mom none of my friends really listened to nikki like that so i didn't have friends to go with i know that's really sad <laughs> but it's okay guys me and my mother got this it was fun with me and her, but I felt so bad. She was sick at the time. I was like, oh my god. She was like struggling. I was like, oh, girl, I'm here. Like, this one is with the boys and the boom. This is, and she's just there, like, <laughs> sitting. I was like, oh no. Love my mother because she pulled through from just for me. Let's give a round of applause for my mother. Okay, guys, but yeah, that was kind of the main parts of the concert. I really don't know what else to tell y'all. Y'all just really had to be there. I loved every single song she played. I just think it was the perfect concert for me to like start trying out concerts again to. <laughs> here if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new and hit that bell notification it tells when i have a new video out comment if you're new tell your friends about me to send fan art the email be in the description down below i hope you have an amazing day and i will see you all later peace